He had bought it at a farm sale. That's where it originally came from. He got it from a good friend of his. One night I was looking in the magazine for an old international to make a barbecue truck out of and and Dickie, my wife, saw this thing or, or the front end on one of these and said that she wanted one like it because of the molding and stuff that it has on the front end. There's over 60 moldings in this drill. So, I told Lenny, and he said, well, I've got one of them in the old barn that's pretty much all original or just about. So I, I went over and bought this truck from him and drug it home. He didn't know about it. And then that little show that we had over in, in Newton last April, they asked her why she wasn't wiping her truck off. And so she grabbed some rags and went to wipe my mat off. She didn't know it was there. <laughs> She went over there and, and it had her name on the side of it. So we tried to keep it pretty much all original. Did you have to put a whole lot in the body work or is it pretty much straight there in the barn? Uh, it was a, what you call a barn find, but it's been wrecked about three times and it didn't need a lot. Uh, most of any of these old trucks need a lot. Right. $15,000 Well, I asked because Lenny said you got it done in about 90 days. I figured maybe there were, you had, had to start with a pretty straight truck for that. But no. No? Nope. work on it every day from some days to 7 to 7. We, take, we did take a week off a little bit. I'll get you so I get some behind you. Uh, you and I have worked together I think I bought uh, two or three. How many moldings did we buy? Two or three real moldings? Three. And up until the point, uh, to the front end here, some of the bolts in the bumper are original, but we had only replaced three bolts. We kept all the rest of the bolts and just cleaned them up. <laughs> so that, that worked out pretty neat. The wiring and stuff that we done, that's not a kit. He hand built all that. There's not a slip joint. Everything is, is welded and heat shrunk or soldered in heat shrunk. Did you have to do a lot of work on the motor? No, haven't done much to the engine. Just played the carburetor a little bit. It was running so rich. And whoever had worked on it before didn't understand the carburetor. But uh, other than that, it didn't have a horn on it. You know, just little things that it didn't have. And, Right. End up buying, but that's the original plate that was covered in overspray by some butcher that had painted it before. Right. We ended up cleaning that up. Mark cleaned the original. I, I assume I'm, I'm thinking it's original regulator, and you know it came out all right. That's a 48 KB5. 48 KB5. Was the uh, engine display so on this one? Don't have any idea. Never <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a 80 horsepower, that's what it says up there. Right. I don't mean to run 80 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, I don't imagine. Not a lot of these old trucks will. This is what was on it. And it had two metal bushings that bent the top of the fender. We ended up, we made some soft bushings for it through the right. trash. The original bumper, it was bent. It was bad. I beat it with those and uh, gravel panels were bent. This was mm. all smashed back into the fender. And, yeah, you, you know, you see that a lot. Found places. The back of the cab was smashed in inside. Mm. You can still see it because what I did is I just worked with the paint paddle and I re rolled it, but I can tell you where it was pushed in. Right. The headliner, we bought a headliner, and I guess it's one of the best that comes out. I don't know, but we ended up trimming and cutting it to fit 
Looks um, nice. It's an original um, sun visor, but I dyed it to match this, and I was looking for the upholstery. I couldn't find the original upholstery I wanted, so when I once I found this, I mixed the paint up and put that together. It's this horn or the steering wheel was virtually there wasn't hardly anything there. It was busted up all over. I redid the steering wheel. This is original cap. I didn't do anything to it. The gear shifters all original. This boot here actually goes behind the seat where your gas filler spout goes in. Oh, okay. It just turns upside down and lays in there. Well, I didn't think they had sent me one. Mark saw this and thought it was a shifter boot, so he went over and it fits. So that's <laughs> I've got yes. a late aftermarket shifter boot now. Mm -hmm. So I, I did call the guy that we got our parts from and uh, told him about it, so he. He can start selling it. It does look decent. Mm -hmm. There was an underlayment that goes between these two, but it sticks up until I've got to pull this back out and refit it so that I can get my ship or grommet around this. See how this is? All I've got to do is move this up a half inch. I'm going to have to cut the holes, and then this will all fit, and then I'll get my grommet back in place so it doesn't look yucky like this. But it's a nice little truck. It makes it easy. This was it. I mean, we just took everything apart and cleaned it and painted did everything that we could do. I've got another instrument panel that I'm going to redo. I'm hoping I can find somebody with a decal kit. But uh, I do have one more that I'm going to do something with at home. I know it's going to take me 12 or 15 hours to do what needs to be done with it. I just haven't had time. Well, it looks great. I mean, it really stands out even among the other trucks here. So, you know, thank you. It's a nice old truck. You know, I got to see a lot of trucks still. What kind of hoist does it have under it? I don't know. I don't know if it's an Omaha or what. Is this? Do you know? You brought me a decal, and I don't know what. Well, it's an Omaha standard decal that I brought to. And that's what was on this original. I, I was going to put it on that old Beco bed that I'm doing right now, and, and it's uh, too wide for it. So it's only a seven to nine foot. I did luck out, and I didn't have one of the original wheels for it, and Vern sold me a wheel for 20 bucks. And uh, when I got it, it had mismatched tires, and it's somewhere along the way they lost it. one of the sales or something. Do you remember? It had a mismatched tire. So I called the company, and they said, oh, yeah, the tread pattern hasn't changed in 30 years. Well, <laughs> speaking to me, I said, well, send me a couple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're not the same. These tires are over 30 years old is what the deal is. Right. So I did replace the front tires and thing. The others were shot. So next I'll get in when I get home. i got to build the, the wood rack, and, and I'll do something with the bed. I don't know what yet. We'll figure out what to do with it. Oh, well, doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. Yeah, because I got to re. I was going to drop lumber up at Horton. Drop Did lumber up at Heston. Getting me some right now. I think really they're pretty proud of it. I think really a guy ought to take the time with your router or table saw and make your own tongue and jury because I only need ten foot, but I got to cut them down to nine. They're like 1486 a piece. They're one by six. Of course, the one by six now is five and a half, and they've got five inch exposure. It was a half inch of the tongue. And for their factory, you know, machine shop or wood shop build, tongue and groove, like I said, for 10 foot, well, I guess that'd be about a buck and a half a running foot for the stuff. 10 foot was just 1486. Well, this year is a nice old truck. I really like it. I just like saving these old trucks international mm -hmm. like anyway. These, the boards are bolted on. That old Beco bed, they were screws. And they had a special different thread. The hole in the frame was, was threaded. You have to use modern screws in the darn thing. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Well, you bet.